Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Unbed Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go out and about and uh, get back to working on Trader Quest. Uh, so let's see, before we get started with that, uh, do we have any points to spend? Let's look at that first. I have two perk points to spend, and uh, we are going to put that last, uh, or get the last uh, point in intellect. Point. What When I say last point, I mean nine. That's all we're going to do. Because when we wear the nerdies, then we'll have an effective 10. Uh, if all goes well and we get another point, then I will put that into Demolitions Expert. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, for the Horde Night tomorrow night. Okay, so we got that done. Um, we also have some potatoes to pick. And because we have no skill whatsoever <laughs> in farming at this point, we just get one per, which is like, okay, that's nice. <laughs> so anyway, we'll... We'll work on that later, um, probably. It's my it's my plan to you know to get into farming later on, but uh, it's just not the highest priority right now. So <clears throat> we got that done. Uh, let's see, we can make uh, shepherd's pie and gumbo stew with what we currently have. Um, the nice thing about the gumbo stew, and I mentioned this in the last episode, is it doesn't require any fresh produce, um, and it's some of the best food in the game. Excuse me. I just finished eating dinner, so. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's make one of those and let's make a shepherd's pie too, because we do have some corn and potatoes. Um, and, uh, yeah, that'll give us a couple of really nice meals. And I still have seven bacon and eggs left too. We could even make a steak and potato. I don't know. I think I'm going to hang on to those two mushrooms for planting later, unless we come across some more later. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take these, um, two meals with us uh, while we're out and about and both of them together should give us everything we need for sustenance for this entire day okay and then yeah so we're gonna start working trader quests uh, what we are after more than anything else right now is uh, our research data books and research data uh, we really really need that stuff so yeah let's get going we have this clear and retrieve quest we are now on tier two with trader joel here in town i still haven't done anything about these trees yet now uh, where is the bicycle by the way it uh, looks like i have it down here so we're still uh wait do i no i don't we're still um using the bicycle for now because i just don't have enough gasoline to do anything more uh, we do have a full tank in the motorcycle, but that's all of the gas in the entire world that we currently own. So we're going to stay on the bike until, you know, I can either collect enough gas uh, or hopefully, uh, or more long term speaking, we find the gas schematic or are able to make it. Uh, but that sucker takes 20, uh, sorry, 2000 research data uh, to make, make it. So yeah, that's a. Uh, Super expensive. So the only way we're going to get that is to get out and about and start looting, finding books uh, or uh, uh, schematics to scrap and that sort of thing. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Um, I will see you guys over at the quest location. All right. Here we are. Uh, I remember this house. We did this. Uh, we stayed in this house on uh, our short-lived multiplayer live stream series that we did a few months back where we were all in the wasteland. Uh, I'm going to do a, just a little bit of basic double looting as usual, but not uh, go overboard. Wow, look at that. Steel shovel. Nice. I do want to definitely get this um, clay too because we need it for concrete. <coughs> Excuse me, concrete and bricks. So let's uh, just hit some of this real quick. Like I said, I won't go uh, batshit crazy on the double looting, but we'll do a little bit of it because... <coughs> Sorry, man. There's something in my throat today. Uh, that's just how how I operate, man. I don't double loot the end loot. I used to do that, but I don't do it anymore. But some of this more basic stuff, I still do, and I don't lose any sleep over it, and I hope you guys don't either. Okay. Let's grab this clay. Let's see what's in here. Nice hammer. Ooh, really nice hammer, actually. That's an A-level hammer. It's an upgrade. I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, can we just squeeze in here and grab that? Nice. And check this out. We'll grab the light. Take this. 
Oh, I should have looted, <coughs> excuse me, looted that uh, bag first, but that's all right. Not a big deal. And yeah, that's enough. Okay. Anything outside that we should look at before we start this party? Uh, not really anything on that side. What about over here? Yeah, good enough. Let's just start it. Okay, so this is a clear and a retreat. We'll do reload all this stuff again. There's a potato seed. Let's check this. All right, just basic shit there. Nothing too terribly wonderful. Okay, that takes care of them. Got a pipe in there that time. Um, let's actually use our our super level shovel. Nothing in there, man. Uh, well, what the hell? Let's pick this up. And then we'll try this again. Now we got some food in here. Oh, good. We need peas. We need peas for uh, both of our uh, gumbo and shepherd's pie. Yeah, I mean, you know, if we if we can keep in the uh, the canned food, and you know, there's tons of corn and even a fair amount of potatoes around, we could sustain ourselves just off of those two dishes alone, and still, you know, do bacon and eggs on the side as needed. So, oh, nice, got a blue scrap shotgun. Okay, is this door closed? Yes, it is. All right, let's see what's next. Ah, uh, spider zombie or hunter zombie. Uh, why don't we pop one of these just so our health's in good shape? And you dead. All right, let's check this and this and this. Nice. I think the spider zombie may have came come out of here. Actually, I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Who can actually know for sure? Uh, there's a thingy up here, and let's harvest this for the paper. Nothing up that way. Okay. Don't think there's anything else uh, super fantastic. Oh, shit, in there. How many Zikaroos are we talking about here? Uh, just two. Down with the sickness. All right, let's get this. Some blue cloth pants, a purse, and some bobby pins, and there's that. We don't need to look in there, do we? No, I don't think so. Okay. I'd grab the leather couches, but I got I got a lot of leather, and we don't need to. Okay. I don't know why I just squished that. And upstairs we go. Zombos? Okay, nobody in the kitchen. Nothing there. Check this stuff here. Any charges on the coffee maker? Nope, no charges. And I guess that's a searchable cabinet. Whoops, we already looked at that. All right, we're gonna probably have some Zeeks in here. Our satchel is on this floor that direction. So we have to keep that in mind. Okay, we got a spider zombo up there. Let's uh, dispatch him first and then we'll have an Arlene. We hit the rafter, so let's see if we can get a better angle on her head here. There she goes. Okay, what about this? Nothing in there. All right, cool. So can I have my arrow back? What about you? No arrow. Assassin skill has improved to level 19. All right, cool. We'll take it. We got a plug here, and that's the satchel. All right, that part of the quest is done. Uh, let's look in here and grab our arrow. We got some 
uh, purple leather knuckles, which we'll end up selling. All right, now, what's going on in here? Biker Zeke. Billy the Biker. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, any zombies in here? Check the cloth and the picture on the wall. Um, you guys have been telling me I should be wrenching these beds instead of chopping them. You get more uh, stuff. I agree. So we will start doing that. Pipes and, and springs in addition to all the same stuff that you get if you just chop it. So it is worth doing. Absolutely worth doing. Okay. Zombos? Probably, possibly in there. No? Unless they're further... Oh, this is this has a dog. Isn't there usually a dog back there? There was a zombo in there. What do you know? Some water. There we go. Wall safe. Uh, are we high enough to do this now? Not quite. We're level 41, though, you guys. That's not bad. But uh, we have 17 jailbreakers. It won't be too much longer, though, before we'll... I mean, I could just straight up put the points into it now that we have intellect so high. So, we'll, oh, look at that, right at the right at the 12 o'clock. Nice. That is not a bad find, ladies and gentlemen. Not a bad find at all. This is also a 44 weapon, and I have a Desert Vulture that's also a C-level, so we'll have to compare those two. I really want to start maybe leveling up pistols, but at present we have, like, zero um skill in pistols but at some point i would like to do it just because i like using pistols in this game especially the like you know the 44s and stuff it's just fun <clears throat> so at some point i'd like to do it good we got two books we'll take it we'll wrench this brass lamp wrench this and what is in here anything yes there's a Backpack with a bone in it. All right. Glad we checked that. All right. Now, there's usually a dog in here. Let's... Uh, did they change it so that the dog... Well, no. I don't know. Maybe they did. You, you can usually see the dog's head right there. Uh, every time I've done this PO, and I've probably done it, I don't know, three or four times, there's always a dog in here. But you can see it from out here. So I don't know what the hell's going on. I see a Steve and a bow. There's three red dots in total. It looks like maybe two of them are in. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Well, let's just get this party started. No dogs in here then, eh? Maybe it's a random thing. Return to trader. All right. Let's check the sink in here. Check the medicine cabinet. Anything else in here? Not really that I can see. Get the arrow back from Steve. We got an ammo pile. Oh, shit. We were already down here. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, Here, I'm going to run back up because I don't have a whole lot of frames on me. I done forgot about the collapsing floor, man. Uh, okay, anything behind here? No. Let's take the light. Check the weapons bag. The chamois crate. Nice. And the fat loots. Okay, that's not as good. Oh, no, that is better than what we're wearing. And here's a, here's a uh, some data points for us. Yeah, because we're actually wearing uh, military leg armor, which, of course, is better in this regard, but not in this regard. So I think we are, right? Are we? Yeah, this has 9.3 physical. This has 11.2. You know, I think I'd rather have the physical protection. So we're going to swap those back out. This has our bandolier mod on it. Plus, this will be a hell of a lot cheaper to repair than this, too. Uh, but we'll hang on to that because 
Uh, we may uh, be specking into light armor in the future. So, okay, that is it for this place. I will meet you guys back at the trader for the turning, and let's see if we can get another one knocked out today. What you got, Mang? Greetings, oh, friend. Here is your reward. I owe you one. That's some pretty shitty rewards, man. This is worth 164. That's worth 119. Uh, all right, we'll take that. And uh, I'm just going to turn right around and sell that to him. Uh, we might as well sell this also. And yeah, sell this back to him. The rest of this stuff I'll probably take back and sell later on. I thank you, kind sir. Oh, boy. You can take your rewards and shove it up your ass, dude. That sucks. All right, let's see. We got a clear ranch house. Uh, which is 330 meters away. I have a dilemma. Uh, yeah, what Get the hell? Let's just go do that one. I guess this kind of Whoops. Makes us friends now. I'm not going to be your friend if you keep giving me shit rewards like that. Uh, I think I'm going to actually drop a few things off here just, you know, to keep our weight down. I don't want to go all, all, all the way back to the base at the moment. Uh, so let's drop off that and this and this and this. We don't need to carry that. Uh, this I want to swap out, but... I'll wait until I can repair it. Let's take the food. All of this stuff we can leave here for now. That can actually be scrapped. We'll keep the coffee with us. Did that really sort by weight? I don't think it... I must have hit the wrong button. Here, we want to keep these with us. Uh, we have 10,000 dukes. Yeah, we'll keep those with us. That can go in there. Okay. That lightens us back up so we can keep keep on keeping on for now. All right, I'll see you guys over at the quest location. Okay, here we are. Turn the bike around this way. Are there going to be puppies back here? Oh, I know this house. I've done this house multiple times. It's the one with the blueberries in the yard. Um, so why don't we double loot the blueberries since they'll repop. And let's, we got a, a workbench in here. There might be a Zombo in here too. I can't remember. Zombo? Nope, no Zombos. We do have a working stiffs though. Nice hammer. And a titanium ingot. Very nice. Some brass ingots too. All right, we'll take all that. And I guess that's probably about it for our double loots. All right, let's do this for realsies. This is just a clear, so we don't have to get any satchels. We just go in and kick crap out of all of the undead inside the building and find as many schematics as we can. Let's go check a look in here again. Oh, you know what? Is there something? Uh, no, there wouldn't be anything underneath those. Some lead weights. A, a compact engine. That's a nice find. We already have, like, I don't know, four of those, but now we have five. So there you go. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> Let's head on inside here. Uh, wants us to go in... Uh, oh, up the up the thingamadoodle. Okay. Let's grab the light. Into the attic. We got some... Uh, clay in here. We're probably going to have a zombo or two in this place. Uh, yeah, there's some landmines over there. I think we have to go around to the other side and drop down, but let's check all of these boxes here. Get all this mundane but still useful stuff for the most part. It's one of the things I like about Undead Legacy. It seems like the loot is more, more useful than it is in vanilla. Some things in vanilla are just like what is the point? Where the hell's my shovel at? Oh, I was going to say, I hope I didn't leave my shovel back at the, at the stash there. Okay, did we hit all, all of these boxes? I don't think there's anything up there. All right, I think we're going to have some zombadoodles up here, and those are landmines. Okay. Big Mama, you are one tough, feral, rapacious Big Mama. 
You are fairly rapaciously tough. Well, you were. Okay, uh... There is something behind the the dealy, dealio there, so let's, uh... Set those off. Now we got somebody else's attention. Check these boxes here. Okay. We'll harvest the couch. Yeah, I know I should probably be wrenching it, but... Billy the Biker. I got stuck on the rail there. So, we are hungry. Why don't we give ourselves a gumbo stew, and we will no longer be hungry. And we'll get a bunch of healing from that, too. All right, let's grab that. This. Oh, there we go. Schematic. Motorcycle frame. Scrap that. There we go. Check this, and this, and that. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of this guy. And just so I don't do something stupid, let's get rid of that guy too. That way we can check these boxes safely. And uh, this one here and that one there. Bobby pins. We like bobby pins. Okay, so there's a thing down here. And I think that's all that's down here. We could bust into that room there, but we don't need to. We're going to go the normal path because we have to kill everything. Okay, so let's grab this. Uh, yeah, we walk up some Zeke's downstairs, and what they typically will do is come up this way, and then we can actually fight him through there. Um, does this floor give out here? Yeah, I thought that it did. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. Okay. Grab this. Whoops. All right. You guys coming up here? Or what you going to do? Sounds like they're stuck down below, so let's just head on down below. Close that door. That door's already closed. Well, that was smart. I blew out the door with my shotgun. Okay, let's wait for uh, Jiggly to get back up. Take her out, and then down with Janitor Jerry. Nothing there. That's, uh, yeah, that's a secret area. And there should be something over here for us to loot. A purse with $10 dollar bills in it. All right. I'm not going to worry about taking apart the air conditioner now. Let's uh, get back here and start from here so we don't miss anything. Nice. We'll take those. I don't think there's anything behind there. Wrench the bed. This goes into a closet with not a damn thing in it. That's blocked by the hallway, so... Oh, that was a lot of nice stuff. That was a lot of nice stuff, too. And we'll wrench the bed, too. That's we're in the habit of wrenching beds. Close. Oh, what are those? Are those plus fives? Nah, they're just plus threes. Okay, we'll just sell those then. Uh, this is that plug that we were in earlier. Okay, we got a bookshelf here. Oh, boy. You know what? We need that. We're going to read it. All, all food, nice. Recipes that we find that I don't know, we're going to learn. Because that's the only way you can get them. 
just from from the schematics. Okay, what's in here? That door's locked. I don't know if we get in here from another route or not, so we're just going in this way. Got some medical stuff there. We can't loot the toity. Nothing back that behind there. Oh, nice. Okay, what is this? This is a laser sight. That's nice to have. We'll probably eventually come across an actual laser sight. I'm going to scrap this for the research data. Can we wrench this faucet or do we have to? No, I think we just have to break it. Get a little brass, though. All right. Let's move along here. Oh, shit. We don't have any doors to hide behind. So we'll hide behind our sledge. How's that sound to you, Hazmat Walker? Does that sound like a good idea? He said yes. It sounded like a fantastic idea. All right, what the hell is going on out here? Dude. Face, please. Thank you. Okay. Nothing behind there. That door's locked. This is the room we came out uh, and walked across the rafters earlier. We already woke up with the Zeke that was in there. Let's check these cupboards here. There's some water, some chrysanthemum, and bones, some sandwich. Come on, give us chicken ration. Chicken ration is the one thing, well, in vanilla that doesn't have a recipe. It looks like that's the same here, which means we can just straight up eat that. Though we don't need to right now. We're actually in really good shape uh, food-wise. Let's get the brass faucet. Check the micro. Uh, we already hit those cupboards, right? Uh, I didn't hit this cupboard. Okay, I think that is it. We're in here. Right? Yeah. All right, now, uh, I'm trying to remember. Where do we go? Oh, down here. Yeah, right. More zombos. Come to Papa. Is everybody behind the door? You're not. Oh, nice. What's a drop for us, Arlene? Lamb ration, we need that for Shepherd's Pie. Beautiful. You go down. And you go down. Come here. Since she's down, let's just keep her that way. I don't know, that kind of didn't sound right, but that's not what I meant. I know I can unlock this, but let's just move. Grab this, grab this, and I think that's all that's in there. All right, we got a El Coche. Put some more brass in it. Check this guy here. Yeah, I'm, I'm always uh, actually pretty pleased with the stuff you can get out of these boxes. It's just, uh, like I said, none of it's like fantastic, you know, high-end stuff, but it's useful stuff. So it's worth uh, worth looting, I think. Uh, there's a shelf we can loot with a bobby pin. We'll take that. Technically, we can start making our own bobby pins now, I think, but I have enough of them so far that we haven't needed to yet. That, grab this. Uh, we'll have to see if that duster is better than the one we're currently wearing. So let's see. That's what we're wearing. This one is exactly the same stats. Okay, so no need to do anything different there. Okay, there's usually some Zeeks in here that are going to wake up. Uh, I see three dots i don't know can we sniper doodle any of these guys or are they all in a place we can't get to them yeah i, I think they're pretty well hidden so let's just wake them up all right come to papa 
see who we're working with here. Two Steves and a feral Ronnie McDonnie. And that is it. These things will break if you walk over them, or this one will. Does it? Oh, I thought it did. It scared the hell out of me the first time I came to this PLI because I wasn't expecting it. Uh, all right, we got fat loots in there. Let's check all this stuff real quick. This is a pretty sizable uh, POI for a tier for a tier two POI. Always like this POI. Grab that brass. Duck down here. Check the fat loots. Okay, here we go. Uh, as a chance to harvest acid from cars, medical equipment, and acid barrels. I. I think we want the end uh, loot of that. Let's see, what is that? Wasteland treasures. Harvest military farmers. Ooh, you know what? Actually, I don't give a shit about that, really. Acid's nice, but are we, we, we're we finding it okay without this. She has harvest acid, cars, medical equipment, and acid barrels. You know what? I'm going to scrap this. I, I want the research data. If we come across that one again later, uh, I might learn it the second time around. But right now, I'd rather have the research data. Hope I don't regret that later. Okay, let's check this. Oh, nice. Perp structural brace. That should probably go on this because this is the most expensive thing to repair, and I use it all of the freaking time. And it's just got a normal structural brace. Okay, so now this structural brace, we could put, yeah, that's just a normal one. We already have one on our iron sledgehammer. What else, what would be the next thing I'd probably want to put it on? I'm thinking maybe our hammer. So, well, no, probably our axe. So what does this have? Yeah, that's got a normal, so that's not going to get us anything new. I suppose we could put it on here. Yeah, let's put it on here. There we go. Make it just a little bit tougher. that okay let's bust these guys open come on crack a book give us some schematics that we can scrap uh okay we can scrap that one what is this one motion detection devices will not wrecking yeah but i want the end of the great heist because that one is worth having it basically gives us a lock picking buff oh look at that you guys that's an upgrade oh my goodness all right let's take a look it um it does 177 base damage. This one only does 147. Oh yeah. Okay, that was worth the price of admission. Let's take the mods off of you. And we now have ourselves a pretty nice blue level auto shotgun. I might have another mod back at the base that I can put on there too. Um how many does this one hold in the chamber without uh, 16? Okay. So, yeah, that was great. All right. I'll take it. I think there might be something behind here. I don't remember. Let's take a quick look. Oh, yeah, weapons bag. Look at that. Weapons bag. Let's loot that and see what we get. There's a sledge turret and a nice uh, 8x scope. All right, this is good. We might put that to use on Horde Night. Um, for uh for our our third fallback which is at our own base i have an idea for that i was just waiting for us to get a turret all right you guys i will meet you back at the trade for the turn in what you got mang you don't look so here good. you go friend whatever you need worth 104 worth seven uh definitely more useful to us but i think we'll take this if nothing else we can scrap it for the shotgun parts all right, what are we going to do next? Uh, it has to be to the west. Uh, we That's a restore power. This is to the southeast. Uh, that's to the north in a ranch house. With a little problem. Uh, yeah, I guess we can do that one next. Thank you enough. Did we look at the vending machine that today? Chicken soup, chicken ration. Uh, let's buy the eye candy. 
can of pasta. Oh, that's right. This resets along with the trader. I forgot. It's not uh, every day like vanilla. Alrighty, my guys. My guys. My friends. My gals. My guys. My peeps. Um, That's it for this episode. So let's see. What time is it? It's uh almost uh, 4 o'clock. No, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I'm going to spend the rest of the day getting all the loot back to the base. I have a a loot a stash, a drop chest here that I got to get back to the base. And then I'm going to work on um, getting a, a few more explosives going for Horde Night tomorrow. And then if all goes well, I'll bring you back tomorrow morning and we'll just do some more looting around town um, during the day before the Horde starts. Okay, so uh, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode okay let's grab all that stuff and gtfo <laughs>